This is today's All Elite Wrestling Dynamite results video, and the show started with the trios match between Best Friends vs Death Triangle for the U World Trios Championship, and the result of this match was Death Triangle won by pinfall with the Phoenix Driver from Ray Phoenix on Trent Beretta to retain the AEW World Trios Championship. The next match happened between Hikaru Shida vs Tony Storm for the interim AEW Women's World Championship, and the result of this match was Tony Storm won by pinfall with Storm Zero to retain the interim AEW Women's World Championship. Post-match, Jamie Hayter and Rebel attack Tony Storm, and after a delay, Dr. Britt Baker takes her time to make her entrance and join the fight, and then comes Soraya, and she tackles Britt and wails on her with punches, also comes Riho, and she takes Rebel out, low bridge for Hayter, Riho up top, diving crossbody. William Regal is interviewed in the ring about Blackpool Combat Club's title matches, but he was interrupted by the MJF. Regal gets his brass knuckles out, but MJF tells him he can put them away, he's just here to talk. He wants to tell a story and William is going to listen to it no matter how long it is because he owes him that. Friedman asks Cincinnati to bear with him and begins. He says he was 19 in training and he got pulled aside by his trainers, Pat Buck and Brian Myers, and they said congrats your hard work paid off, and he got some WWE extra work. It may not sound like much, but it was an opportunity and he packed his gear and his best suit and drove off to it. MJF said after WWE tryouts, William Regal gave him hope that he is gonna be a WWE superstar, but then Regal asked how old he is, Friedman said 19, and William told him sorry, you're too young. Now here they are and the tables have turned. It's 2022 and Regal is just a sad, withered old man who got fired, and now he's snuck into his company like a flea-bitten rat, sucking onto talents far better than he ever was like a succubus, and MJF is 26 and a generational talent who his former employers would be willing to kill for in the bidding war of 2024. He wants Regal to look at him nice and good because that's what he's become, nothing more than a joke. Whereas Max is about to become the AEW champion of the world, because his name is Maxwell Jacob Friedman, and he's better than you, and you know it. William Regal responds that if a bloody email is what it took to get MJF here and he held onto that for seven years, he's had it easy, sunshine. And that's exactly it, he's had it easy, they spent several times together that MJF needs to practice promos, and talk every time he brushes his teeth so that when you pick up a microphone people listen. Regal turns around and asks if Max is just going to take another shortcut so he can whine and cry. Friedman puts the dynamite diamond ring on, Regal stretches his arms out, Christ-like, and turns around with a sad nod of the head, telling MJF he still has a lot to prove. Then we saw a match between Chris Jericho vs Dalton Castle for the ROH World Championship, and the result of this match was Chris Jericho wins by pinfall with the Judas Effect to retain the ROH World Championship. Post-match, Jericho cuts a promo with the Jericho Appreciation Society on the stage, and Jericho said he was gonna desecrate the legacy of Ring of Honor and he is, and then Jerry Lynn runs down and takes the title from Jericho. Chris kicks him, and he hits Tombstone Piledriver on the Raw World Championship. In the main event, we saw a match between John Moxley vs Hangman Adam Page for the AEW World Championship, and the result of this match was John Moxley won by referee stoppage to retain the AEW World Championship. After the match, John says he hopes Hangman heals up but this is a dangerous game and you have to put it all on the line every time and since he's on live television and he's out here and he's got a lot of energy and he heard somebody talking a lot of shit and they've still got some TV time, so if MJF wants to prove just who he says he is he can get his little suburban ass down here right now. MJF storms to the ring with referee Bryce Remsburg and his chip, and Regal gets in his face, but Max gets in the ring in street clothes and takes his shirt off. Moxley flips the double birds but MJF bails and leaves the chip with Regal and sprints to the commentary desk for a microphone. He says you want to talk about cutting corners and being a man, these people know he's a man, and here's how it's gonna happen, he's gonna cash the chip in, but he doesn't want Moxley at 50%, he wants him at 110%, no excuses so that when he beats him clean in the middle of that ring there's no question that he's better than him and he knows it, he's cashing in at full gear, and for the first time in his miserable life, he's gonna earn it. John replied Max earned a date with Destiny, with the best wrestler in the world, with the AEW world champion, and he's gonna make an example of him to prove that getting in the ring with him is dangerous as all hell, and the show goes off air.